Hi, this is Julian for Pro Tools Expert, and I wanted to show a quick tip for something that I've been doing an awful lot of late, which is when I'm editing voiceover for videos, I find that uh, because of the amount of compression and limiting we have to put on stuff to get to the appropriate delivery spec for online stuff, we put on maybe more compression than I'd choose to if I was just doing it to sound good. And things that previously sounded fine suddenly don't sound fine anymore. In my case, it's breaths. Listen to this. There's tips, tricks, and more in a weekly discussion. And I sound like I'm drowning. The only way that I've really found the satisfactory of dealing with this is to just select it and bring it down using clip gain. If you haven't used clip gain much before, there's uh, a few things that you want to do, and they all revolve around holding down control and shift on a Mac. If you hold down control and shift and hit minus, you get the clip gain line, which is always useful. If you hold control, shift, and plus, you get the clip gain value for the clip that you're in. Because you only get one of those values per clip, I like to separate rather than just, I could just bring the clip gain down here and have breakpoints within the clip, but I prefer to just, uh, in that case, I'll hit B and separate out that breath, that one, uh, into its own clip. Now, there's a couple of choices. I mean, I could, if I wanted to, just uh, grab here and pull the clip gain up and down. I'm not going to do that. I could also hold down Control and Shift and use the mouse wheel, but I'm not going to do that either. The reason I don't do that is because I've found that I'm a little bit cack-handed when it comes to things like that, and I end up creating more breakpoints than I intend to because of slipping side to side. My preferred method is to use Control Shift and the up and down arrows. But here's the issue, is if you see, that's going up and down in 0.5 of a dB increments. That's the default value. And I don't. I just find that that's way too fine for my purposes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into preferences, editing, and here we can set a custom clip gain value. I'm going to set that to, not to 120, I'm gonna set it to three. There we go. Okay, that, and now if I hold down Control and Shift, I can go up and down in increments of three, which for things like this is really appropriate. It's just the value that I've settled on. It is really coarse, but if I need finer increments, what I tend to do is I just do them from here. And there's various modifiers you can use to get increasing degrees of fineness and resolution if you need them. So that's a quick clip gain tip. The main thing that I'd remember from that is hold down control and shift, and you can do loads of clip gain related stuff.